Hi guys, it's me Laura and what you can see in front of you is a packet of Japanese candy I purchased this candy very recently uh, direct from Japan on eBay and for those of you who don't know what this is called I believe it is called um, Naru Naru Ne or something like that I'm sure someone can correct me and I wanted to just do a little I suppose unwrapping video discussing it because it makes some really nice sounds Please excuse the nail polish on my thumb And today I'm going to be following the instructions listed here because I can't read Japanese to make the product Okay, so the wrapping itself is very colourful and you can see the little character here which gives us an indication of what the product is going to be like I've made this before so hopefully I won't mess it up okay, so I'm just going to cut the top along for anyone who wants to purchase this, this is about £2 a packet from a shop on a Japanese store on eBay okay. Sorry the quality isn't very good of the um, video on the side to follow the instructions okay so there is one silver packet one blue packet and one red packet okay. Looks like little trading cards Okay, let's put them in order And three. I think that's going to be those little sweets there. Okay, and it also comes with a little spoon. Okay. Right, let's see. So we pour the white, the silver sachet into. Um, that one, I think. Yeah. The box is a little... It's 
smiley face on it. Just gonna make sure. off this bit and that will hold our water okay so to make the sweets you need to do some DIY work I haven't really done this view Okay. Um, for anyone who has tried this before, I'm sure you can see I'm doing wrong or something. I believe this is the soda flavour. You can also get grape. Okay. And now we get some water and pour it in and then stir. I'm hoping this is the colour we're expecting. Okay, so I think I mix it until it goes yellow and then I'm gonna add the second sachet. Smells really good. Okay, now I'm going to add, add the second sachet. I've got this horrible feeling I've gone wrong already. As you can see, the yellow formula is now becoming uh, like a pastel blue. If I can, I will link um, where specifically I bought this in case anyone else wants to buy it. I'm not sponsored by them, I just... I like their food. Okay. Here you go. And now, we simply... We simply get the last packet, which contains the solid candy. Pull them in. Okay. And we're done. So if I can make it, I'm sure anyone can. And now I'm going to dip the sweets onto the spoon. You can see it's kind of like a lolly, but don't eat the spoon, obviously. And then we try them.
so these be advised are quite difficult to bite into so if you have like sensitive teeth be aware this um does taste very sodery uh kind of like a sherbet dip for anyone who knows what that is it tastes quite like that but yeah it's a lovely food i'll try one more and i apologize if the uh, biting sounds are quite loud i don't mean for them to be So that is Nere Nere Ne, I think. Um, please let me know if you like this kind of video and I can try and review a different candy for you. Personally I really like it because of the flavour. The texture of this is thick and both easy to eat. Um, it can get stuck in your teeth um, but these I wouldn't advise for sensitive teeth and you can those sweets aren't really anything special so you can switch them to something you prefer I think maybe fruit sweets would be quite nice in here okay so overall this cost me about two pounds, which of course is not meant as an everyday food, but as a treat to show you guys, I thought this might be quite interesting. I do hope you have enjoyed this video. Like I said before, if you want me to make another one, uh, recommend me uh, something to eat or a candy of sorts or a drink maybe and I will try and get hold of it and I will give it a go for you okay so I really hope you've enjoyed the video uh, and thank you everybody and take care goodbye